there's something within us as Americans that feel a sense of, uh, of pride and, uh, and history in, in these trains. The 1225 is a 225-pound artifact. That train is a piece of living history. The shame it would be if we lost this wonderful uh, feature for our community. The Pier Marquette was designed by Lyman Locomotive Works. Actually, it was delivered to the railroad uh, the day before Pearl Harbor. And so when it was delivered to the railroad, it went right into uh, wartime service. So the engine was kept running almost continuously between 1941 and 1945 without rest hauling more materiel. But beginning in the years after the war, they were started to be replaced by diesel electric locomotives. So after 1951, when the engine was just 10 years old, there was no longer any work for it. It had been replaced by oil burning diesel engines and the engine and all its 38 sisters were set aside. Actually, like all of the 1200s, went right into a scrap line down by New Buffalo. People from Michigan State University, they wanted to use it as a monument for the steam railroading era. One of the trustees of the university had some friends on the railroad management and he was able to arrange the donation of a 225-ton artifact. Eventually the locomotive was removed from the MSU campus. It was given over to a nonprofit organization which still maintains it today, now known as the Steam Railroading Institute. The North Pole Express excursions began in the year 2006 with the steam locomotive pulling those excursions. I was actually there when they called, when Warner Brothers called. How they found us was they uh, called about three or four other museums all across the country and every one of the museums uh, said, why don't you give these guys an Owasso call? Out of the Berkshire models that were constructed, there are only 22 left in existence, and out of those 22, there's only one in operation aside from the 1225, so they wanted a real live working steam engine. When Warner Brothers called, when we got signed the contract, we got along, we asked them. We said, uh, are you guys gonna use the number of 1225 in the movie? And they said, well, we, we don't know, and we said, well, we told them, well, you got to, and they said, well, why is that? And we said, it's because of Numbers 1225, and they said, yeah, it's 1225, and we said, that's Christmas Day. And they accused us and everything of changing the number and stuff, and, and we said, no, nope, no, nope, uh, we have paperwork, this is what it was born as. It just really put a big boost in everybody's spirit, and then to have the Warner Brothers crew here, um, and actually people could see it in action, so it, it just got everybody excited and got everybody more excited about our train. But after our last trip in 2009, we discovered that uh, a big part of the engine's boiler had gone just about as far as it should go before we put quite a few hundred thousand dollars worth of new steel into it. Since this had stopped being produced in the 1940s, none of those parts are available anymore. So anytime you want to rebuild or add, all those parts need to be custom made. So this is what's underway on the locomotive today. We're renewing a big chunk of its boiler, just like the railroad would have done routinely back in the 1940s. We're having to rediscover a lot of the old crafts and skills that went into these locomotives. And as we do that, we're keeping a lot of that artistry and skill and craftsmanship alive. And uh, the whole operation is going to take about $900,000 to get it back on track. We've raised about 50% of the funds, but uh, it's going to be up to me and the community to try to raise the additional funds. We've turned the corner of it. We've actually completed the inspection part of it, and now we're putting it back together. Is my main goal is first to keep the money that's donated within the community. Well, you know, I think that the whole idea of, to me, of community re renewal is creation of points of light within a community that draw people here and make people who live here proud to be here. And the 1225, the SRI, is, is just a, a wonderful example of that 
point of light in our city that can lead to tourism, a sense of pride, a sense of identity. We will do events, train festivals. We have another one coming up in 2014. The last one they did was 30,000 people. This one, our goal is around 50,000 people. I want to have people in their minds elevate this institution to the same level as uh, Kerwood Castle or other things that we really identify with Owasso, that, that that's a key thing. Where if a person's out there, no matter where they might happen to be out in the world traveling, it's like, I live in Owasso, Michigan. You know, we're the home of the Polar Express 1225. Something that people identify with around the world. Beyond that, obviously, when you have that value, then, then it turns to, can we get them to consider among their colleagues themselves the donation of, of money to make this, make this a reality. I think sometimes people don't understand that once this goal is accomplished, it's going to be a very long time before we have to put that substantial amount of money into it again. Making donations to the restoration effort, the 1225 effort, coming into our museum to see what we are doing here. This is uh, a museum that is telling the story of steam during a period of time when steam trains were the only thing available. And this museum tells that story, so I think the community should come in and visit us. I think they should bring their kids to enjoy us. Every little bit helps. We need people that can carry on this tradition. We need volunteers. You can work on the train so you can actually get dirty with tools in your hand. Uh, you can work in the museum. Uh, you can work in our library. You can work in our archives. So there's many facets of volunteering that's available to you here. What we're doing with the 1225 is bringing back to life about 220 tons of the past. I, I think that's, that's really why I do it. You can't go back in time and talk to Ben Franklin or, or see a Mississippi steamboat or a clipper ship. But if we put enough work into this locomotive, at least occasionally in, in one place here in Owasso, Michigan, it can be 1941 again.